lazy and I don't feel like making a, a whole video and like overlaying things while I'm explaining something because it's really annoying to do that so I just uploaded this to YouTube and I'm just gonna talk over it but um, someone recently asked me how to TP reset and I wanted to address that so um, something about like the way orcs actually teleports is that he teleports like towards the nearest player um, like in a certain distance and so what you'll notice is that uh, you know if no one TP resets him right he'll just sort of like like you know towards me so he's going down this way and then a set distance away so he TPs about that way out and the good thing about this is that because this room is a circle or you know like a circle but uh, you know he'll you can pretty easily map out like the radius around like the middle where he'll teleport so he teleported you know this much away and then I have another clip here that shows a different spot where he's in the middle right he TPs out and it's still around that same radius right so it's still around that same radius and then I you know I slowed down and I put a big line here right so it's like okay so he's in the middle I'm the closest person because I'm the only person and he just TPs to me right so that's how that sort of thing works. So if uh, if you notice, like, oh, I'm C-shielding here, by the way, but um, so if you notice that, like, oh, like, someone is just, like, uh, like a tile off or, like, a little bit off, um, he'll jump over them and towards it. So if some if you're here, right, and someone's here and Oryx is in the middle about to TP and he TPs directly on you, that is sort of why that happens. Um, and I have a bunch of where, you know, he just performs this like same TP uh, so here right uh, what is it so I was getting ready to TP reset him right I'm standing on him I'm getting ready to TP reset him but I realize he's doing accept your fate and accept your fate isn't really fun for me so what I decide to do is I just step off of him before he TPs right and then he just jumps over me and then goes to the edge of the room and I just chill on the other side of the room and I no longer have to deal with him great right so this is sort of like the behavior of what Oryx does and also how you can abuse it to stay safe. Or if you really wanted to, you can slingshot Oryx into your enemies, but <laughs> I say enemies like people you don't like who are leeching, but um, don't do that because it's also mean and you can benefit more from it than being mean. But you know, that's that. So you know, you can just, before he like goes down, right, you can just step off and TP him away. Um, I refer to that as slingshotting, uh, some people will call it other things, but I like saying it as slingshotting him, because it is, you know, you just, uh, what is it, you just, you know, slingshot him away, it's like, oh, okay, cool, but, yeah, so there's that, and then, I have a few more clips of that, right, so, in that instance, right, I saw he was doing furies, right, this is slightly before he teleports, right, so he's starting to teleport, right? He's going up, right? And when he comes down, which is that second beam where he's moving, he's where I was, and then I'm just suddenly away from him. And then uh, over here, right, it's sort of just like the same thing, where there's certain set distances. Obviously, he doesn't always go like middle to like this distance, like always. Um, he can go like this distance, but you have to be more closely on like this sort of radius. Uh, like this sort of radius around him so at that point I'm like about that right now I go a little bit closer and then he TPs at that radius and goes on me so you'll sort of have to get used to that uh, it's sort of like uh, through experience you'll like come to be familiar with these radiuses very like soon and so there's that right so here's another example where he does like furies into melts and instead of going to try and re TP reset him because I know I'm not going to make it in time here so what I do is I just go to this radius which is you know about this radius just closer right and then he TPs basically right on me so it's sort of like TP resetting except you sort of like force where he's going to TP reset so I know I can't make it onto him in this scenario to TP reset him, so I just don't. I just force him to TP close to me instead, and then through that I just finish the fight. Um, so there's that. And you might be saying, like, oh, you know, like this isn't like, well, TP resetting, but this is very important to know for TP resetting. Um, 
So in this scenario, even though like I can't even see him, right? He's off my screen. I know he's doing Cosmos. I know that he's going to TP down to me for like nowhere to hide, where you know you can reach out and find out what he's doing pretty easily, um, and you know you can get used to it. So he TPs to me, and I start rotating with him, right? So it's slowed down, right? He's up there. He's moving down. He finishes TPing at a set distance away from me, so he doesn't TP directly onto me. It's a set distance, and then he starts to, you know like do his phase and then I can just react as following. Um, so that's sort of uh, that's sort of how um, like that sort of TP goes and that happens after Celestial. So so there's that right and then so for like TP resetting since everything is a set distance and he's going towards the nearest player um, one of those set distances you know one being like about halfway between like like from middle, like halfway between this like round carpet and the wall, so like about halfway, and then one is like roughly around the edge of the carpet, and then the final one is actually going to be directly on top of him. So like, in terms of just like uh like distances, like let's say this is one and this is or this is zero, right? So zero, he's not moving. This is one, he's moving this way, and then like there's two, so you can go zero, one, or two. Um, so if you want to TP reset him, you just stand on him until he finishes. And so the thing that gets a lot of people is like what sort of like defines it, right? So he goes up and then he comes down and then there's that. And I have a slow down yeah, so here's the slow down clip. So he he like, you know, has this beam up sort of thing, right? And then he beams down. And what may be confusing, right, is that like Here's the beam down animation, but I'm already off of him and I've reset him. Um, but the thing that like you have to consider is that uh, this is where the animation starts for TPing down, right? It's like there's nothing there. That's when the animation starts. So like you can feel this out, but if you want to be really safe, wait for this TP up, right? Wait for the beam to be gone. And then as soon as you see the beam again, get off of him. And over time, uh, you will sort of like get to know this timing very, very comfortably, and then be able to just, you know, do it like so you can get off of him earlier. So here, right, you know, he's going up and he's coming down, right? So there's two animations, right? Going up, down, and then he starts shooting. Um, so if you ever like see a wizard who's just sort of sitting on it um, first, it's because. Um, you can TP reset him and then damage him for a little bit and then he'll start shooting. So most, a lot of wizards, what they'll do is they'll TP reset, get two EP shots and then just get off of him. Um, so that's sort of like how it's useful, like how this is applicable other than just for positioning reasoning. Um, you know, if you happen to be playing wizard. So, you know, it's after Celestial where he starts TPing, right? And then, uh, you know, this one he does, oh, to push him to heavens, right? So he doesn't know where to run. So uh, I know heavens are coming at some point, but what I do, because I know like uh, my friend here is, you know, there's heaven walls and there's this is a really, really bad phase for most people. So what I do is I just TP reset him and then drag him around. Um, and so, you know, so like TP up, TP down, and then I like I get off of it a little bit early because I'm really accustomed to the sort of timing for the animation, but you still have to wait for him to TP down first. All right, so that's up and then down, right? Because I think I had the clip earlier. Oh, I can actually use this clip where I slingshot him. Uh, I think it's after this clip. Right, so I TP reset. He goes up while I was still on it. But before he comes down, I get off of him, and then he TP, he like goes like really far away. So you really do have to wait for that TP down sort of, uh, like when he starts to come down before you get off of him. If your goal is to TP reset him, um, so you know if if you mess up, it's because you got off too early, and then you know you just sort of have to like get. A little bit more comfortable with like the timing and everything uh, before you can like fully just like get off of him and things like that because like here right like the animation clearly like like it's hard to tell that the animation even started right 
but if I were to like, you know, use this argument, right? Here's that like invulnerability shield for uh, orcs, right? There's his invulnerable thing, right? He goes up and then, you know, he's sort of still here and then he's coming down. Um, so like in terms of what you should look for, that's about it. Um, right, now you even saw it down here. Like he goes up and then he comes down. But you have to, have to, have to wait for him to come down. And if you're, especially if you're learning, wait until the beam comes down first. Because as we said before, um, right, like sort of here, he's damageable and he won't shoot immediately after coming down, right? I still get like a few hits in first. So wait for that animation to go down and you'll have a decent amount of time to get off of him first. Like, you know, like it, the more, like the more, like, uh, what's the word? used to the timing you get, the more fluent you can just like get off of him and the more distance you'll have. But it's sort of just like, uh, you'll still have a lot of time to just wait for the animation and then get off of him. And it helps a lot if you're on a speedy character, like Warrior. Um, well, in terms of like what most people use, Warrior would be like the biggest thing, but Wizards do it as well. So. You know, don't be scared to like do it on any class, basically, unless you're super slow. If you're super slow, you might get screwed over because you're slow. But um, I still recommend having a little, at least a little bit of speed, so you don't get like completely trampled by orcs. But you know, that sort of uh, things about TP resetting, and I'll, I can link this video uh, into the current video, so you can actually see, like, like you know, you can like. Uh, you know, do this fun stuff, you know, just moving around and everything. Um, but it, this is basically just like something that is really useful to know, not only just to like know what orcs is going to do, um, but you know, to do things like TP reset them. Because a lot of people are like, oh, why don't you like, you know, have people invisible? Like, I have um, like locked players transparent and guildies transparent, um, but I don't have them at 0% or like very low percentage because knowing where people are relative to what you're doing is super 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 important um especially in things like this right because like if i like you know like planned on like t slingshotting him one direction but my guildy was standing on it we're like doing two different things at that moment and there can be like oh like why didn't it tp away he's like oh because i tp reset him right it's like so if i can see where he is then I know what Oryx is going to do. So that's also like, you know, something it's like, you know, don't have your transparency zero uh, because it's really helpful to know where people are because, you know, Oryx will do things depending on what other people do. But that's sort of my uh, little crash course on TP resetting. So yeah, Sea Shield Guide's coming eventually, uh, but I'm farming for an Augmer, but this is very quick to make and I didn't have to like put in effort. So you know, it's here. Anyways.